Welcome to Westlake Village, California. You've heard about it, but what is life really like here? Right now, I'm going to go over three pros and three cons of living in Westlake Village. So let's get after it. My name is Emily Burdon, and I'm a realtor specializing in helping people relocate to Westlake Village, California and surrounding areas. Pro number one, it's gorgeous. The entire Conejo Valley is beautiful, but Westlake Village takes the cake. There is attention to detail everywhere you turn. Even freeway off ramps and overpasses are beautiful. The shopping centers are exquisite with high-end shops and restaurants. The medians are beautifully decorated with foliage and flowers, and the neighborhoods are very beautifully maintained. And then let's talk about the 125 acre lake with eight miles of shoreline. Built in 1969, it has about 1,300 homes that have access to the lake. Residents enjoy walking, cycling, fishing, and boating here. There's nothing quite like the beauty of this area, and you can't help but enjoy taking in the stunning views from any of the lakefront restaurants. Speaking of restaurants, this leads me to pro number two. Westlake Village has some of the best and most high-end restaurants in the Conejo Valley. When people from neighboring towns are looking for a nice night out, they come to Westlake. You can find pretty much any type of food you're looking for, and it's all within a small radius. So if you can't get a table at your favorite restaurant, your second favorite restaurant is right down the block. Pro number three, it's closer to LA. If you are a commuter or just someone who likes to spend a good amount of time in Los Angeles, then Westlake Village is a good location for you. It's about a 45 minute drive to downtown LA, a quick drive over the hill to Malibu and just a few minutes from the San Fernando Valley. Quick side note, Westlake Village can be a little confusing. Two thirds of it is in Ventura County and part of the city of Thousand Oaks. The other third is in LA County. Actually, the line that separates the two goes right through the middle of this lake. Not a big deal for your day-to-day -day life, but if you live on the LA County side, just know that your kids are gonna be zoned for the LA County schools in Agora not the Westlake Village schools. But like I've mentioned in previous videos, school of choice is always an option. Also worth noting, the sales tax on the LA County side is gonna be about 30% higher than the Ventura County side. Okay, so Westlake Village is sounding pretty perfect about now, right? Well, let's get into the cons. Okay, con number one. It's f***ing expensive. All of the beauty, amenities, and proximity to the city come at a price. Westlake Village homes fetch the highest price of all the towns in the Conejo Valley. At the time of this video, the median home price for a single family home in Westlake Village is 1.75 million. Compare that to the surrounding towns, Thousand Oaks, which is 1.025 million, and Newbury Park, which is 950,000. Wow, you still interested? Good for you. All the amazing things I've mentioned about Westlake Village result in this area being the social hub of the Conejo Valley. And that leads me in to con number two. Everyone from all over the place descends upon Westlake Village to enjoy the shopping, restaurants, and theaters. You did your research online and you think you're moving to a small town, but the 400,000 residents from surrounding towns all want a piece of Westlake Village. Expect longer waits at restaurants, or better yet, get a reservation. And just know that this is the one area where you might not find a parking spot right away. All right, con number three. There can be a little bit of an elitist vibe. Remember how I said that Westlake Village is like the Beverly Hills of the Conejo Valley? Well, there can be some of that Beverly Hills type attitude that goes along with it. Now, this is not always the case. I have plenty of friends that live here that have zero snobbery, but just know that that vibe does exist. Westlake Village definitely attracts a country club type clientele. If you are the country club type, you will love it here. But if you're not, you might feel a little bit left out. Would it stress you out to live in a community where you feel like you need to keep up with the Joneses? Well, then this might not be the community for you. But the good news is there are other communities in the Conejo Valley and you can find the place that is best suited to you. All right, so that's it for my pros and cons of living in Westlake Village. If you have specific questions or needs not addressed in this video, 
please get in touch and let's make a plan to find the perfect home for you. Also be sure to watch my next two videos where I go over the pros and cons of living in Thousand Oaks and the pros and cons of living in Newbury Park with more content to come covering other nearby communities. See you soon. I'm gonna do that whole thing again. Third is in LA County. Actually, <laughs> oh fail. my gosh, gimbal fail. That's hilarious. And I was on a roll. At the time of this video, the median home price, oh my God, it's freaking expensive. <sighs> Forgot what I was gonna say. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cuss. I'll say freaking, but I'm not gonna like actually. I'll bleep it out. No, I'm not gonna really say the F word. I'm still gonna bleep it. I'll say freaking. I'll bleep it. Okay. There's a car behind you. Come on, keep going. I knew what that car looked like before I even turned <laughs> Stop it. What's that doing in my psych village? <laughs> That doesn't make sense. Be a, uh, starting over. Okay. Eh. <laughs> sucks, whole thing sucks. <laughs> Start a new career. <laughs> and then what? Okay, pro, con. All right, pro, num con. Hit me up and, I don't wanna say hit me up. Please get in touch and. I'd love to help. I don't need to say that. Wow, are you still interested? Con, con. <laughs> I said that wrong. I, that feels weird. Are you liking all that? Yeah. Wait. Good. 